Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975. This is Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins on the PSP, released in 2006 by Capcom, and it's the third entry into, well, you know what the series is, Bulls Hard is what the series is, and I apologise how I'm capturing it, because I still don't have a TV lead, but I wanted to show you this game. I've played it very quickly, and I got my ass handed it to me, and I certainly won't be playing it well, holding the, uh, the pad, the pad, the machine on the floor, upright, while filming it on my phone. Anyway, can we skip that? I don't know. So I'm assuming the story is the same as before. You're Arthur, you're Birds, the world's biggest victim, in, rich, bitch him? Um, victim and gets stolen. And yeah. But there you go, here's your map. As far as I can tell this time though, there's a little bit more, the routes aren't so um, linear. But yeah. I didn't know this was a thing until I saw... Bollocks. Bollocks? That's all. Quick slope game room do a complete history of it. And this is on my hacked PSP. So you've got three buttons, jump, uh, lance, and fuck. No, you haven't got that. But what you have got is, oh, you can change your weapons and shit like that and upgrade your skills. You've got that nuke thing. They just keep coming, like a standard Ghosts and Goblins game, really. Graphically, this is lovely. That's what I get for turning away and scratching my nose, eh? The music is amazing. It's kind of a remix, obviously. I don't even know what that did. But I'm liking my super dagger of death. Got your eye! That's my get out of jail free card. Oh, shit! Obviously, you've got armor upgrades, and your armor, you, you take hits and lose hits and shit like that. It's Ghosts and Goblins. Mind you, I haven't played it before, so... I don't know. A wing and a prayer and shit like that. Am I... What am I? I'm a bird. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I know I'm normal. I think it's normal as you can be for being a friggin' graveyard at night. To be fair. I quite like graveyards at night. True story. They're peaceful. It's an anxiety thing. Too much information. It's Disney pie hands. See if anyone gets the quote. Well, not quote. What I mean. This is lovely. And the graphics are lush. And what do I do? Just jump into the great wide open? You can fire in all directions. So, those are the things that turn me into different forms then, those pools, not like magicians. Get up the ladder, very slowly. What? Disney pie hands. There's that familiar noise when you die. Get used to it. Oh, look how that's what novice does. It gives me all those lives. I just realised at the bottom left-hand corner. I'm a fucking ninja. Look at this. Well, I'm not because I'm shit, but my weapon is. I wanted the dagger, you bastard. Down, 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 down. Right, don't go left. It looks painful. You haven't got a double jump. Oh, fucking pie hands. Right, right. What's that? Oh, it's a whip. I'm not sure I really wanted that. Boss. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Alright, that's a good start. Hit him. Run away. What are you doing? Apart from killing me. 
Well, that did nothing, did it? Oh shit! He's animating the, the crap around me. All right, come on. All right. Oh bollocks! Bye. Is he dead? Is he dead? I don't know. Is he dead? No, I don't know if I wanted that. He's dead. Yeah, and I got shit. Well, there you go. Just a quick go of Ultimate Ghosts and Goblins. Apologise about the way I captured it, but I just had to show it, and I have to play it. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.